So after SHOT Show, I want to talk a little bit about grips and holds on the Tavor. Um, one of the great things is the chance to sit down with some of the people from IWI and talk about how the Tavor is designed to be held and carried uh, compared to some more Western adaptations of it. So we'll run through four really simple grips. Almost all of these grips, your pistol grip is going to be about the same. You hold right onto it. However, the American grip, you'd settle in here, put your thumb over the top, and your hand right up against the handstop, and you can plant right into it there. That's closest to shooting an AR. For me, I spend a lot of time out in the woods carrying this rifle, so I have something that I naturally fall into that is a carry grip, where I'm holding here and here, and it's often sideways across me, but you can also shoot from that position. It's not the most stable, but it is something that's a really good reactive position where you can manipulate the rifle pretty easily. For something that is much less tactical and much more target focused, there's a sideways grip that's similar to what you might use in service rifle, where you're using your elbow on your hip and then placing the bottom of the rifle right there on your hand and then trapping it with your cheek there. That's something that I find fairly good for standing groups. And then there's the Israeli grip, which is built off a six point of contact. So there you're better suited to have a 30 round full size magazine. And here we're holding underneath as our first point with our hand there. And then we're using our forearm against the angled part of the rifle. So you plant there and that's your second point. Then you have your hand gripping the pistol grip and stock into your shoulder. Then your head onto the rifle. And then the last one you end up pinching up against the magazine with this forearm. And so this is quite a forward grip. It's unusual feeling to get into, um, but it is the way the rifle was designed to be fired by the Israelis. The ergonomics are high, which means when I hold it, I have six holding points to hold it properly. One in the front and one in the side here. You can see my forearm holding to this area. You see the angle is very comfortable, allowing me to sit with the weapon comfortably. Three is my arm, four is the magazine, five is the shoulder stock. Pay attention, it's going a bit over my shoulder, so my head will be up, it will not be slanted on the side. And six is my cheek wrist. So holding the weapon, I hold it very tight on me and pushing it to the back of my shoulder joint. In theory, that's what they say will give you the best recoil control and fast shooting ability with this. Now, Personally, I don't find that this is a very fast grip when it comes to moving from side to side. And I feel like there's a little bit of slip in here, but it is definitely something you can plant into and shoot really firmly from. The American grip is a much more square grip, assuming that you have body armor or something like that, whereas the Israeli grip is much closer to a traditional Russian grip where you're trying to minimize your profile and shoot diagonally. One of the things that's worth talking about for the Israeli official recommendations, they use a single point sling on this side. So the rifle is designed to hang vertically. I've got a two point sling on here and the main reason for that is so I can transition shoulders from a two point sling and still have it you know, stowed and actually carryable. Single points are great for vehicles, not great for hikes in the woods. So although the Tavor is Israeli design, there are lots of Western American interpretations as to how you use and fire it. Hopefully IWIUS will have theirs out in March this year.